What's going on guys, Hootie here with Level Up Gaming and today we're going to be taking a look at Sky. So for those of you that aren't familiar with her, she's a brand new agent in Valorant and I'm not exactly sure how powerful she's going to be yet, but I think she could potentially be incredibly powerful. So I'm going to be giving you an intro here in the range and then I'm going to jump straight into a couple games with Sky, giving my feedback giving you some tips and pointers on how you could play her and use her abilities and how you can be most effective for your team while playing Sky. But let's get right to it. So as you guys probably know, Sky has a heal and she cannot heal herself, but she can heal her teammates. And it's actually anybody within this Healing large squad. circle that you see here, but also within her line of sight right and she has a bar that depletes over time for how much she can heal in a teammate or multiple teammates so as you heal multiple heal teammates squad. that bar is going to deplete the more teammates the more damage the more it's going to deplete and then you can no longer heal once that bar is gone similar to you can think of maybe viper's venom but it doesn't recharge like viper's venom does then she's also got an ability called Trailblazer where you get to basically control a tiger um, and run around and then you get to leap at enemies with your mouse one button and concuss them if they're near the tiger once you're done leaping or if you hit them directly it will do a maximum of up to about 30 damage. That means it's one last bullet to kill that enemy. Uh, if you're using a vandal or a phantom essentially this is really interesting it's going to have weird implications because it's essentially a boom bot that you can control right you can clear angles and corners out uh do damage to enemies without them realizing it's going to happen you can quite literally get an enemy down to one shot and then chase them down with your tiger and finish them off Next, we've got our flash ability. It's called Guiding Light. Essentially, you can guide this flash. You can fly it around. It's an eagle, sim similar to like a jet smoke, essentially, and pop it whenever you want to. So you can literally fly it around a corner into an enemy's face and forcefully blind them unless they shoot it before you blind them. It is destructible. I'm pretty sure almost all of these things are destructible, except for the regrowth, the heal, obviously. So let's take a look at this. Wow, that's pretty crazy. So if, if there was like an opera in here or something and, you know, I wanted to stop them from being able to shoot me from over here, I could literally do something like this and blind them before peeking. Remember, all these things can be destroyed, like I said. So this hawk, while it could be incredibly powerful, you have to be careful how far you're throwing it or guiding it, because if you let it go too far and it's too exposed to the enemy, they're just gonna shoot it out of the sky. Cat. And last but not least, we have our seekers. It's our ultimate, right? Essentially what this is, is it's gonna go find enemies for you. It's, you're literally gonna cast it and it's gonna track down the three closest enemies. And when it gets to them, it applies nearsighted to them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how long Nearsighted is going to last on this, but it seems incredibly powerful. So essentially you could cast this and then follow it to wherever the nearest enemy is at and get a free, potentially free kill, depending on how they're holding the angle. Like I said, potentially incredibly powerful. They can shoot it out of the sky, so it can be destroyed before it gets to them. Still though, drawing their fire, giving away their position, like I said, incredibly powerful. But let's get right into it. I'm going to play my first ever game as Sky. So I imagine someone like Sky taking the place of, you know, like a Breach or a Phoenix, uh, maybe even, you know, like ha uh, having a Sky could be similar to like having a Sage and a Breach combined. Um, we'll see, honestly. I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think she's gonna be incredibly powerful. She brings, she brings a lot of utility, a lot of uh, potential information to the team, so. I definitely think we're going to see her getting used, potentially nerfed in the near future, but definitely used in pro in the pro scene as soon as possible. Nice. So we got into a game. There's actually no sky on the other team. I was kind of hoping there would be. That's OK. So for buying here, it looks like regrowth costs 200 trailblazer costs 200 and our guiding lights are 100 each. Uh, I'm going to buy half armor. I'm going to buy heal. 
I'm going to keep one flash, and I'm also going to buy a Trailblazer. I think Trailblazer could be incredibly interesting for peeking B over here. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our wolf. We're going to peek out here with our wolf and blow it up on the enemies, concuss them, and then potentially get a kill, right? Nobody towards B. They're all A. Not sure where he... Not sure. He's on. Oh my God. I see the spike. <laughs> Enemy spot. Dude, there's one in our. Enemy remaining. It was in me. Yeah, do, do I'm fall. out of stuff. Last oh, player standing. Thirty seconds left. Okay. Fortunately enough, there I'm able to bait out the kill joy for the bomb and get a free kill. Commendable. Uh, we're gonna go full util and a stinger here. Uh, I think I just want to mess with her util a lot here and see what I can do with it. Uh, that's the goal, so. remaining I feel like this flash is potentially incredibly powerful the things I'm able to do with it are just Enemies kind of insane especially since I have three of them so much utility and different abilities uh, I can't imagine this isn't gonna be overpowered to some extent Wind. show me where to go bro three flashes a stun that does damage and a heal for my teammates this is nuts I was kind of confused how the how the middle one works. It's the sun one. Uh, the sun, the wolf, you mean? Yeah. It's literally just a boom bot that you can control. Together. Essentially. Shit. And it's actually, I think, stronger than a boom bot. I'm clearing showers. One showers. Yeah, who, oh, there you are. <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to think about it. Shadows traveling. Thirty seconds left. One Shot. enemy remaining. Hulk out. So we weren't able to do a whole lot that round. Honestly, we didn't really do anything. Uh, we did blind one enemy at one point. We did heal our teammates. Uh, I, it's useful for sure. I, we, I don't know that what we did really mattered all that much, but playing the quick rotate there was definitely helpful. First impressions here, obviously, first impressions don't mean all that much, but my first impression is that she's potentially going to be incredibly powerful. Um, I can't imagine her not being incredibly powerful, I guess. Pushing Hookah. One Hookah. Seek 
too long. One hookah. Or no, there's only too long, I guess. So I sent out my ult there, which actually I think helped my teammate. Uh, it chased him down long and they kind of ran away from it. Uh, I died because of a good killjoy nade placement and because I was a little too carried away trying to use my abilities, which isn't the right thing, you know, but I also blinded my teammate, which I think is tilting my teammate a little bit, but it is what it is. I'm learning. I got to call my, I got to call my flashes a little bit more, like he said. So one thing I think is her flashes are going to be really easy to turn away from if you see them coming. Keep up. So. Honestly, you should skip save though. Have been dink, have been dink one of them. One enemy remaining. Good hold. Up down in spawn. Get her out. So I didn't do a whole lot in that round. Uh, my t utility definitely discovered that there was nobody towards B, which is helpful. Um, but I just kind of stayed on B because all my teammates had rotated and I didn't want to get caught out by a, a quick rotate by the enemy team. Especially since the omen TP'd and I didn't exactly know where he had TP'd to right away, so... notice I'm just using my utility a lot. Uh, I'm trying to get used to it, get to know it, while also still being helpful to my team. Last player standing. Thirty seconds left. One enemy remaining. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. Oh, I forgot. Almost forgot to defuse the bomb there. I was able to play the sound of Come me on. jumping out of the hookah window with hiding it with my gunshot. She had no yeah, idea that I had done it, um, which is incredibly helpful. So we've got our ultimate again. Uh, I'm just going to try and clear out a hookah here, see if I can't make something happen with it. Don't give them ground. So here I'm going to send out these Seekers. I just want to know if they're, there's nobody long jet. You're good. I use my ult. They're all over a day. Nowhere to run! The benefit to my Seekers here is I can literally clear. They're, they're all three back towards uh, short. Except for her, I guess. My bad. So I actually had a good flash out there, but it didn't blind the jet. She must have turned away from it, honestly, um, because it did hit only one person somehow. So somehow it wasn't able to see her. But what's nice is I can guide it over that wall and then back down into their left. line of sight, which I think is a really, really strong. So we're having a good game so far. Um, not really running into any uh, issues yet. I would say that for the most part, 
We're not really using her kit to its fullest potential yet, but we're also still learning it. So it's hard. It's hard to say that we're going to be doing that right away. Anyways, that being said, I feel like she's got so much potential. That was their flash. I got you, but I counter flashed. Destroyed. Pull cat. Blinded. You should run. We're pushing Hookah. He's in Hookah. Careful. I hit. He's already an elbow. How's he an elbow? I don't know. I've got Spike though. Silva hit 137. Pull cats! Blinded. One enemy remaining. Last one. Nice. So we're able to use our blind there to actually help our teammate get a kill. I blind through the smoke when he's going to pick up the bomb and my teammate's able to pick up a free kill on him in Octagon. I think saving my wolf for later in the round instead of using it right away is probably the better call. I'm just enjoying using it right away for scouting information. Um, being able to just send it out and see if somebody's standing there or not is just so helpful. Let's go. Hunt, hunt. Get out of my way. I didn't see anything long either. I see you right there. In the, in the, in the you one you hope, one you hope, you hope with our all. Pull cat. One enemy remaining. You haul, you haul. Unless you killed that one. Nice, you haul. I'm able to walk into you haul there and get a free kill. Uh, he was doing, I don't know what, honestly, he has dropping the bomb, picking up a gun or something like that. So it made it incredibly easy. So what's interesting that I've noticed about Sky so far is that she tells you when she stuns or blinds someone. So if you hit an enemy with a blind, she actually calls it out for you so that you know that you blinded someone. Sky, just go. Sky, just go. I can watch. I'm flashing. I'm flashing. You all's clear now? Short. They can cuss. Too short, both short. Oh, one shot. One shot. Heal up, squad. I'm healing my omen to full here. Pull cat! Blinded. Oh no. So uh -huh. U-Haul, U-Haul. So there I thought there was an enemy in U-Haul already. I didn't realize that I had blinded him, but he was out to the left. I thought my blind hit because he was in that corner. Um, unfortunately, obviously he dodged the line for the most part. And so he was able to re-peek unblind pretty quickly and get a kill on me. I didn't play that very well. I Once I got the blind off, I really should have just waited and made him make a play instead of uh, over getting over aggressive and pushing him. They didn't have the bomb down or anything, so having letting them have a little bit of U-Haul control and forcing them to play off of me instead of pushing them was probably the better play. Pushing me. Time to hunt. Ah. So I tried to use an ability there, but they pushed so fast that I was actually caught off. Uh, it was just a misplay on my part. I'm getting a little too caught up using my abilities there. I tried to dive at him with my wolf or my uh, spike planted. A tiger? Is it a tiger? I think it's a tiger. I tried to dive at him with it, um, get the cuss off, get the stun off, but I wasn't able to, so it didn't matter. Fortunately, my team's able to clutch up here and we end up winning the game or round. We're about to win the game. It's 11 nothing, unless they make a huge comeback, which is totally possible. Don't let me downplay it, but we are definitely in a good position right now. They're probably going to push me again here, so I'm going to play this one a little bit different than I did before. I'm going to wait for that flash from the breach, and then I'm going to peek it. Hopefully not being blind. What's nice is I can guide my flash out, and so he's going to flash right away. I'm going to dodge it by not being exposed to it and then i should be able to blind them back here pull cat yeah. 
Unfortunately, they're making a huge alt push onto the A bomb site. Stay alive, Killjoy. Last player standing. They can cost. Uh, fortunately, I missed the headshot there, and I'm not able to get the kill on the breach, even though I was able to get the concuss off onto the omen. Switching sides. That's unfortunate. I would say so far that I think Sky is just a lot of fun to play, a lot of different abilities to use and utilize. Uh, while I'm not doing the best job of using all of her abilities to the maximum potential yet, I uh, can see how they can be incredibly useful. Blinded. Reloading. All right, we're trolling. In the smoke, in the smoke, diffusing. She's diffusing. It's half diffused. It's half diffused. You haul. Peek, peek, Justin, Justin. One enemy remaining. Okay, where's Sage? This shy's a hurt. Cluster Match point. On short there, oh, almost done? Cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Damn, my one flash blinded three of them. Dude, I can just send this flash pretty much over the map anywhere and drop it onto a bomb site. Like, I just sent it over this wall here and then dropped it down onto A and blinded th all three ground. players on site. Can you heal me, Sage? Enemy spotted for you. The other one was hookah, but you can't. Hook out! Stack site. Oh. Hook out! Blinded. One's blinded back there. You have a. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Lucky site. One's behind the truck somewhere, blinded. Oh, so planted. Yeah, he was backside. So One enemy remaining. Back shot is awesome. Flashing him. Blinded. Attackers win. So I'm able to guide my blind back there and actually hit him with it. That's kind of nutty, dude. I can hit some in pretty insane. You can like, if you know roughly where the enemy's at and you know a teammate's gonna peek him, you can pretty safely flash people that are nowhere near you. Yeah, this brings a lot more of a Counter-Strike-esque um, flash into the game here. <laughs> Probably even stronger than any Counter-Strike flashes, to be completely fair with you. Um, whereas I feel like Breaches and Phoenix's flashes never were as good as a, strike, a flash was in Counter-Strike. This is like a Counter-Strike flash plus one. I feel like if they would have just given her a flashbang that like where you just throw it, and it like pops after a little bit of time that would have still been incredibly powerful this this is crazy i'm uh, not crazy in a bad way but it's like really really good it can be destroyed obviously so you have to watch out for it if you can shoot it then which if people start watching out for them and start shooting them they're going to be way less strong but here at the beginning when people aren't noticing them and they're not shooting them they're going to get you a lot of free wins potentially but it's going to be something that's not super easy to take advantage of yourself, right? There's a lot of like downtime in between switching and animations when you're doing the flash before you have your gun back up. Um, so it's really about pop flashing for your teammates here. All right, so that one went really well. We won 13-1. We didn't have a bad game. We went 14-6-2. It wasn't like an amazing game, but we're also learning this agent, so it's to be expected, I guess. All right, let's do a second game then. I recorded a video the other day, guys. We don't want to talk about it, but I recorded a video the other day and I recorded 25 minutes of video and audio and realized that I actually wasn't recording the audio, just the video. So it was just video of my face with no sound from my mouth, unfortunately. All right, so we got a Brimstone, Killjoy, Phoenix, Jet, and the Sky. Uh, we're on Haven here. I am excited to play Haven. Haven is one of my favorite maps in this game. And being able to play Sky here, I think is going to be really, really cool and really strong. So let's see it. 
Actually, I think the uh, stun here is going to be really strong. Again, I'm going to try and do it at the very beginning and see if I can't uh, potentially get something cool with it. I'm not picking up my heal here. Uh, maybe I could only get one flash. I think the fact that I could potentially heal my teammates while they're in the middle of a gunfight can be incredibly strong, honestly. Lot towards A, they're stunned. Smoke's down. Enemy oh, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, we get flanked there. I thought our jet was watching long. Unfortunately, she really wasn't. She had fallen back. They had five man pushed it. Um, even though I stunned three of them, I wasn't able to do anything with it. I wasn't able to get my flash off. They smoked us off. I probably should have pushed into the smoke there in short instead of falling back to my teammate where they had already started flanking us, so. They don't have a Killjoy or a Cypher, so flanking is going to be really strong this match. Spike planted. Unfortunately, I'm able to get the dink there on the Phoenix, but he also dinks me and I don't actually have armor, so it's a free kill for him. I probably could have used my flash there on him instead of just uh, trying to pistol him dry, but I didn't want to use my ability. I wanted to save the money going into the next round. So, so I'm actually holding this solo, it looks like. So we're going to play it a little differently than I would have normally. They're pushing, eh? Multiple. Yeah, yeah, they're pushing hard. Hulk out. Hulk out. Blinded. Smoke's down. They're concussed. Down with. Card out. Healing over here. Out of healing. I'm just saving my gun here. I only have three health. I'm not challenging this. So I was able to get some good blinds off, some good stuns off, stop the enemy push actually really well, get my teams to rotate and help me, and then uh, heal up my teammates actually and keep my brimstone alive. He actually would have died had I not healed him the first time, and then I healed him up the second time to hopefully help later on in the round as well. One thing to note is that once you use your heal at all, you now have to rebuy it going into the next round. It doesn't stay at like whatever degenerated status you had it at before. So I was able to blind a total of three enemies that round and daze two of them do 84 healing. That All of that is just incredibly, like, it's just a lot of utility for the team, honestly, and I got a kill, so. Get out of my way! Time to hunt! They're rotating, I think. Okay. They're blind. Oh, never mind. Apparently not. Unfortunately, I didn't play that very well. I accidentally blinded myself. I forgot to control it and dive it down so that I could be able to see as well. Um, and they were able to kind of avoid it, I guess. They were full unblind before I was full unblind. Or maybe there's more of a punishment for blinding yourself than the enemies get if you blind them. So that might also be it. They're droning A. Multiple A. Seek them out. Oh, let's play oh, Found that's one. That's There's four A long. Whole cat. Blinded. Time to hunt. They can pull. cat. Blinded. Reload him. Unfortunately, we didn't really have the weapons. My teammates didn't have the weapons to help me retake there or to like help defend the site. Even though they rotated, they kind of just Reloaded. didn't have the ability to play aggressive enough to help me. So they're not able to. Last I'm not exactly sure standing. how the best way for me to play that would have been right now. 
uh, potentially fall back more, not play off the site and let my teammates have the site, or I don't know, not peek off that blind instead of peeking off the blind like I did. So. Come on, let's go. Spike planted. They can cast. Left side. Fires out. Enemy spotted. Oh, just back side. Left side, right here, Reyna. Hawk out. Blinded. Backside, backside. I didn't know which one was left, sorry. So we're struggling to hold bomb sites here. They're kind of just five man rushing um, and overwhelming us every time. So we need to do a better job of trying to slow them down. It's hard though, because they know we're so spread out. They're playing this really well. That's the thing about offense on Haven. If you know the enemy team doesn't have great communication and you have decent communication and you know the enemy team is super spread out because it's Haven, uh, because they don't have a cypher killjoy kind of sucks since they don't have a cypher it's going to be incredibly difficult for them to hold against a five-man push Hulk out. Blinded. Hulk out. Ten seconds left. One enemy Good remaining. Spike spotted. I was able to play that slow enough and buy enough time that I was on the flank and am able to get the kill on the guy planting. Um, I used my utility. I was going to try and help my teammates out there that were pushed up um, and flash the enemies that were trying to kill them. But I wasn't able to do it soon enough. At the very least, though, I was able to slow them down and make them think about me so that my team had the comfort of waiting for them to push instead of us pushing into them. Spike planted. Behind you, behind you. Last player standing. He walked up mid. Unfortunately, I used my ult there for a retake, and as soon as I use it, there's an enemy standing right behind me. Um, nobody on our team was watching the flank or watching the mid push. And we kind of all just assumed that they were all on the bomb site, which was the wrong thing to do there. So, hey, hey. Oh, they're all just sitting up there waiting. I didn't even go all the way through the smoke, but they spray me down because the thing saw me and I ended up getting killed, unfortunately. Uh, they have some really good communication and our communication is really subpar. Can someone else hold A? I'm very obviously struggling with it. I'll switch with anybody. So I switch up with my teammates here because I'm struggling probably a little too late, honestly. I'm struggling to hold A. They know that. I know that. Mid. Another one mid, garage. Nice. So I'm able to get a good kill there on the Omen, um, and then I get traded out by the Reyna because I get far too aggressive Last in Peeker, trying to peek half. off the, the help Last of my teammate coming up behind her, um, but it doesn't matter. Can you buy me? Uh, Brimstone. They had a super aggressive composition, uh, so they're not, they're probably going to play super aggressive because they don't have any uh, defensive characters. So, be ready for that. I'm out of stuff. Hunt, hunt. Nobody is short. You have to buy your heal. Yeah. It's an ability. I have to buy it, just like all the other ones. Hey guys. Pull cat. Blinded. One enemy remaining. Nice. Good flash. Good flash. Last player standing. The tech is only. Planning for everything out in the open. Spike 
Rush. Oh, they're just pushing. Pushing you, bro. Oh. Pushing the bomb for me. One down. One enemy remaining. Oh my god. Oh my god, Sky. Yeah, there's a vandal on site. And they back left, back left. Oh! Alright, we're able to use our flash there and get a good blind off and get some really good kills. One's at A and then two B it looks like. No, there's only one A. Found one. They're rotating A maybe? That means B is free. Pull caps! A's clear. Evan. Pull caps! There's another one, Heaven. Oh, they didn't get one away. Reloaded. One enemy ah. remaining. So I don't think anybody's on A, guys. Maybe hiding short. Careful short. Oh, hell, hell. Blinded. She's on site now, lit 80. Oh, they all dashed on late. You're dead. Get the bomb down. Fuck, that's me, actually. Playing for long. Playing for long. Nice job. So we're using our utility pretty well on the attacking side, honestly. Uh, I know I haven't said anything in a while. I just kind of forgot. I'm very distracted by using Sky's utility and trying to make the best of it. We're making a huge comeback here so far, so hopefully this can continue. And uh, I hope you guys have noticed just how strong some of this utility actually is. Being able to find enemies, being able to just know where they're at, um, heal your teammates potentially if you need to, all that kind of stuff. It's just, it's incredible, honestly. One in there. Probably close. You blinded I don't see him. Maybe a window. This one. Got it. I can heal you. Come here, Phoenix. Healing over here. Oh, I totally forgot about your heal. Reload him. On flank. She backed up. So essentially, I can heal one person's full health around. You can trust my bot. It healed me. In, it healed me in like four seconds. Out of which two people can't you just? So if only one person's dance, like got zero health, like our Phoenix almost did, then it heals him to full. Otherwise, it'll split amongst everybody. Evan, did he drop? No flashes yet. Not yet. Turret out. Enemy spotted. One enemy remaining. Pull caps. Wait, smoke down. Guys, ulti was just. Oh, let's let's crack it. Back site one. Oh, sorry, we're back. Uh, he was right side, but he could be anywhere now. Oh, I'm about to get so vaulted. Yeah, he got me. I couldn't dodge it. Mid, mid, mid. Pull cat. Nobody pushing mid right away. Jump over. Anything, You're dead. Uh, flashing out of the garage. Just crush. Just crush. Let it burn. Let it burn. Blocking sight. Monogale with our four ult. Yeah. Only one A. Only one A. I am, I am. 
Placing swamp grenade. Swamp grenade out. Molly fucked me. Placing swamp by planting. B, 2B. Reload him. Hawk out! Open up the sky! One enemy remaining. Hawk out! Blinded. He's blind. It's Molly, he can't get it. Nice. Using my alt God. utility there to clear the bomb site and take control of it was incredibly powerful. Probably heard that, but I just didn't want to give it to him. Killjoy or uh, Reyna's up there. Reyna's on A site. They're concussed. Need help, guys. She's on A site behind the box. Give a flash. Yeah, yeah. She's hiding somewhere. Oh, how did she avoid that? Yeah, but she was like right next to it when it popped. I was looking at her. I just like it. Maybe it doesn't flash her if she's looking away or something. I don't know. I don't understand it completely yet, honestly. No. I can do either. What do you want? Yo, Brim, I'm one of Sorry, bro. I did it over. Didn't hit anybody. Oh, yeah, we got this already. Yeah, I know. Come on, let's go. Oh. He TP'd left side. On flank, on flank. Okay, I'm gonna find him. Give me two seconds. Uh oh, I'm blind. TP'd away. Back right. Reyna's in concussed on the right. I'm all to begins. Going up. Initiated. One enemy remaining. I'm planting for mid. Good one, guys. So we make a huge comeback there. We end up winning the game as Sky. Uh, we didn't actually have a great game. We actually had a really terrible game. I think we're a little distracted by our abilities, but some of our abilities did actually come really like incredibly in handy. A lot of the times there, you saw a couple great, great flashes from my team. My ultimate cleared the A bomb site for us for multiple different pushes. I'm also able to use my tiger to find enemies and then stun them, potentially getting a kill, but not always getting a kill. Yeah, overall, I think her abilities are incredibly strong. And as we learn more about her and learn how to use her, she is going to be an incredibly powerful agent to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.